Today is the day, finally. She's dying. And we're on the way to the hospital. She's in a lot of pain right now. She started bleeding. The water has not broken yet, but she's in pain. Our doctor told us to go ahead and head to the hospital. We went yesterday and stubborn over here did not want to stay. So we're going again today. And she wanted me to speak to you guys. I don't even know where the hospital is. Let me see. Probably in St. Joseph. But you guys, here's some live action. I'm screaming in pain. <laughs> Push through. So you know it's not fake. It's not a prank. She's definitely going through right now. The wig, the wig, the leg wig, which proves it all. Fredo's also here. Yeah. Fredo's the godparent, so he kind of had no choice but to come, but... I just wanted to show you guys it's not fake. She's definitely in pain for real. I'm gonna hit you guys back whenever we get to the hospital and see what they say. Beat it. All right, you guys. We made it to the hospital. I had to wheelchair her in. The nurse is checking. Okay, 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 okay. The nurse is checking right now. I can't show you that. She's one centimeter dilated. We're at the hospital. We just checked in. Fredo's been such a great help. She's having contractions right now. I can't show too much to have to beat her for her, but I'll meet you guys back in a minute. Say hey. Say hey. You don't want to say hi to them? Say bye bye. Why is Dr. Flores again? Okay, we saw him yesterday. Oh God, we can make we can make a whole little mixtape. Okay. Okay, we're going to talk to him. Uh, this I'm morning, we can make a whole mixtape off of me. Her heartbeat. I am the queen. <laughs> and king is perfection. What are you doing? I'm putting that new shit on. It's that new Balenciaga, we could. Mm. Why do you have a gown on? Why? That new drip in our tenant and I got my ass out good. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Look at her. I don't want to be induced by lemon. RN, Dr. Yak. Stop. First of all, RNs aren't doctors. Me. me, me. Nurse leader. Stop. Alfredo We're gonna get in trouble. How am I getting in trouble at my birthday? So currently. We just have to tie her hair up. She's getting ready to get the epidural and the, what is it called? The P? What's that shit? Pitocin. Pitocin. How are you feeling? Nervous. She's nervous, you guys, but she's been taking like a champ so far the whole way through, so I'm... I have not been taking I'm still trying to figure out how to deal with contractions. I feel like she's been having it anyway. Mm -hmm. She hasn't complained as much as I thought, so... No, I'm just upset because the thing is, I'm only one centimeter. Like, I'm only one centimeter dilated, so I I had the option to either go home and let it happen naturally or stay here and, you know, try to speed up the process with Pitocin inducing labor. I felt like, realistically, going home, I wouldn't be able to deal with the pain, so I'm just nervous. Uh, and, and the thing is, even with speeding it up, you still don't know when the baby's going to come. So I'm just nervous to meet her. Cross your fingers. All right, you guys. So she hasn't got induced yet. We're still waiting on that, but she did get the epidural. So she took the hairnet off and they put oxygen on her. So she's not feeling anything in her lower half, but she's breathing well. The baby's fine. Baby heart rate's right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but the baby's heart is like 140. Her contractions are up here. So everything is pretty stable. For, you want to tell them what happened? What? How um, they gave me the epidural and then the baby's heart rate dropped. So then they had to start me on oxygen. And then um, they had to keep switching my positions. And then they gave her sugar water. My baby girl 
love sugar so much. That's the one thing that yeah, because that's all you eat. <laughs> but she's good, so we're just waiting for her to get induced, and then we should have the baby in our hands in about a couple of hours, either tonight or early in the morning. So stick it to the game plan, man. Waiting on Dr. Flores to get in here, give us some good news. But we're being told they're gonna hold off on inducing me because the contractions are already so um, heavy. Yeah. So. Might be parents in a few hours, my boy. You ready? I'm nervous. Can I do it? Just lock in. Just no. lock in. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but we'll hit you guys back. Whenever something happens or the baby's here, say toodles. All right, you guys. Uh, it's dark in here because her, Michaela's head started hurting. They just gave her the, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Pitocin, and about 20 minutes ago. So she's not feeling good, her head is hurting, so we turned all the lights off, but she's officially been induced. So her cramps have been picking up kinda, I don't wanna say rapid, but faster than what they were. So we should be expecting her probably later on tonight or in the morning. Tell them how you feeling? Huh? Oh, her eyes. The nurse just walked in, so I'm hit you guys back. I'm like shaking so bad right now. Oh my gosh. Ooh. My water just broke. Baby's coming. And I'm shaking from the epidural. They just gave me more medicine. What's up, you guys? Don't mind me. I've been crying. But because the water has broke, she's seven centimeters dilated she just got some more epidural in her so we'll be expecting that baby soon maybe or later on today but she's fine say hey babe <laughs> how are you feeling like i peed myself like i peed the bed <laughs> she's okay guys the baby's fine i'm just really excited finally get to meet her she just get to be in the world, get to hold her in my arms. I get to make sure she's okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just excited. I'm at a loss for words. Honestly, that's why I'm barely talking right now. I'm talking rambling. Y'all never seen me do that, but I'm just shocked. So I'm gonna see you guys in a minute with some more news or when the baby comes. Back at it, got more news, so. Okay, let's go. She can't feel anything. It just gave me more medicine. They got you hooked up like a motherfucking animal, boy. The only thing is, I feel so itchy. <laughs> Fredoski's back. Yo, yo, we here, we here. Cabecito, the god parents. The yard parents. The yard parents. But she's shivering like a stripper right now. Wait, what? Where's the correlation? Shivering like a, maybe a, a grandkid. Yeah, you do like a dope here. You scratching like you on that <laughs> shit. Are you itchy? Is itchy? itchy? Yeah, yeah, that's them drugs. It's like when we take morphine. She's like a base head. <laughs> Get it out, get it out. Shake out the mess. <laughs> How do you feel, one out of 10? From one to 10? You always say one out of 10. <laughs> put your lips on YouTube, I give you a thousand dollars. I don't think we can say that. <laughs> the problem is that your cervix is out there, so if we count your cervix, you're still about in the seven or eight. Three, four, five, <sighs> six. Don't let the breath go, seven. Yeah. What's up, you guys? So basically, been going through a lot today, but Michaela has to have an uh, emergency C-section. So the baby, they say we have to wait about an hour for them to prepare the room, and she'll be here after they cut her in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna make sure I get footage of me cutting the umbilical cord and her reaction. <laughs> Sleepy. I don't think that we're gonna get. Sorry, I did not realize that was. Um. They can't, they can't see me. Let me see. Ah. No, they don't, they don't want him to do I don't think they're gonna. Um. The lady said that she. What time is it? I hope you go in there before she leaves. I like this nurse. I know, she's lovely. Yeah, really? I asked her if she could be in there. So, 
what happened was um, I'm going to have to have an emergency C-section. They believe that um, the umbilical cord could possibly be around her neck. Um, she's been having complications. I'm having a contraction right now. She's not going to have complications. I pray. Oh. I'm having I'm having a contraction right now. Um, so we're going to see what happens. I don't think they're going to allow us to record in there except for Bryce cutting the umbilical cord, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain and I'm really nervous, you guys. So <sighs> pray for us. Bryce is getting his um, space suit on. About to go to the Met Gala. It's that new drill. <laughs> All right, you guys, so the baby is here. She is eight pounds and one ounce. She's gorgeous. Michaela is asleep right now. You're just waking up. Got her out. The bad part is over. Can I, can I show her? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here she is, you guys. Eight pounds and ounces all over. Say hey, She came out, you guys. She didn't even cry. Tough. She a tough baby. But I don't want to keep the camera too much in her face, so I'll make sure I hit you guys back whenever um we get in the room. But Kayla's still asleep. She has no clothes on, so I can't record her. But there she is. That's what we got in here. And we're out of here. So pretty. Michaela is finally clothed. She's okay. She, Doc put her to sleep so she won't wake up for a minute, but baby's here. Baby's, Michaela's okay. You opening your eyes? Say hey, world. <laughs> you over it, baby? Over it already, huh? Just like daddy? Alright, okay. <laughs> Mommy is up. Give me five, babe. You did it. Can I give me half off? Oh, they stuck my baby. Tell her about herself, baby. I eat your peanut blood sugar. No, I'm just giving her uh So her vitamin K is Why you stuck her? She just stuck her. What's that? Meconium? Not that I know. That's what they were saying. No, don't stick her again. No. No. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay baby. It's okay. It's, okay. it's actually good that she has cards. Okay. So she could take more it's okay. She's a nice lady. So she could take more breaths. They, they they want her to cry. So they she get that get cry. that fluid out her lungs. Yeah, exactly. I'm just it's okay, yeah. baby. I know you're a gangster. I know. You ready? You ready to see mommy, Kazi? Uh, no. These are one on. They might need it. You ready? You ready to see mommy, Kazi? Okay. <laughs> Oh, she stopped crying as soon as you got her. She stopped crying as soon as she see you. And I'm gonna put the blanket over her. As soon as she see you, she stopped crying, bro. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy, bro. As soon as she see you, she stopped crying. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. What she look like? You don't know? Yeah. <laughs> she look like me? Say bye. Say bye bye. We'll see you guys when we transfer rooms. Sorry, curious of the world. Tell him how you feel. Hey, you a gangster. I earned, I earned like a hundred million times more respect for you today. I seen the inside of your stomach, boy. 
I seen the inside of you. Like you can't go nowhere for the rest of your life. You locked in. I seen the inside of your. I seen your guts. Give him a kiss. Say bye. Let me see. I'm like, wait, am I doing this Who right? Who is that, Jordan? <laughs> it looks. <laughs> what is it? Let me see. Like, She's like, am I doing this right? Jordan. Carrying the baby. Oh, grab, I just her like, I grab her hand. Like grab her hand. Grab her hand, Baba. Grab her hand. This is really cute. Oh, it's so cute. You proud of Auntie Michaela? Say, good job, Auntie. Tell her I'm so proud of you. Tell her. Hey, come on, hug your Baba. Hey, you know, Jordan. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> boss, boss, Baba, boss. We back in the building, man. I know how it's going. I told you I was gonna hit y'all some good news. So we made it to our other room. The baby just got her blood sugar checked, so she's crying. This is my first time seeing her have tears. I told her my baby was a gangster. She didn't do all that crying when she came out. I don't know who baby I thought I was having for sure. Hey, babe. Hey, have you done your first change yet? Yeah, let me do it. Her record me. Kazi. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. So, with girls, I What's on my ankle? That's a little low, Jack. In case somebody tries to take yeah. her. Yeah. Damn, they got like she in prison. <laughs> this boy. Look at this boy. What's up, peace? So, we back at it. Kayla's currently feeling better. A lot has happened, you guys. You guys saw me deliver a baby through emergency c-section and you know we got to enjoy our baby for a couple hours until they took our baby to NICU but don't get upset don't get sad she's okay she had what jaundice jaundice so basically what jaundice is you guys the baby had Michaela's she blood had in her a special type of um, blood jaundice where she has ABO incompatibility Jaundice. Basically, short term, in Negro speaks, she has Michaela's blood in her, so basically we have to wait till her blood takes over. So they have her sitting in the NICU under like this light to get it all out, and they want her to just eat, use the restroom, but she's okay. She's healthy. Everything's okay. I've been checking on her every day. Michaela is fine. Y'all seen the process of, of what I could show y'all when she gave birth. She had an emergency, emergency C-section. I was there for the whole thing. I seen her inside. I seen her bladder. I seen her tubes, everything. Like We locked in forever. I just seen it all. But... My baby a soldier though. She, she didn't even cry when she was born. She didn't cry when she got none of her shots. She didn't cry when they pricked her foot to take her blood sugar, nothing. Like she's really strong. But, 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 I do have to tell you guys about the incident that happened today. For my black mothers and my black dads, make sure you guys are taking good care of your, ba your babies when you're in the hospital with them. If you're giving birth, make sure you guys are watching out for them. Make sure you guys are checking up on them if they are in the NICU. Because the hospital, I don't want to say it's not a safe place for black mothers and black and black dads, but it's not a safe place for black mothers and black dads. I'm gonna be real, but I'm gonna let Michaela explain. I'm gonna let Michaela explain the, the the details of the situation what happened today with, with um the nurse with his little bean head tail. He didn't want to piss me off though. He knew what time I was on, real gangster for sure. But I'm gonna let Michaela explain it so she can tell y'all what happened to him and how the situation went. But it's kind of sad. So go ahead, babe. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. Can you hold it? So basically, um, you know, since our daughter's been in NICU, it's been really hard for us. We've definitely had detachment issues. Um, so of course, you know, there's a camera that's supposed to be showing us how our daughter is doing at all times. At all times, and it's been turning off a lot lately. So. Yak went to the NICU three different times today being like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's... Uh, Yak was like, hey, what's going on? Like, why is the camera not working? So it finally turned on. And when I finally saw it turn on, my daughter's um, eye covering, because she has to be under a light at all times with this bad jaundice. Um, her eye covering was covering her nose and her mouth and she was crying in distress now being a mother i'm already upset because of that but she was born with meconium inside of the womb which made um started making her nose irritated already and she was born with her umbilical cord wrapped around her neck so why would i want any other reasons for her to have a hard time breathing um i waited 
for a little bit to see if somebody would help her on that camera. Nobody helped her. So me and my mom, because my mom luckily was visiting me, rushed over there. I can't really walk right now. So I had to be in a wheelchair um, since I did have emergency surgery. And um, they wouldn't open the NICU door for us. And something told me to go check back on the camera. And they immediately tried to fix and cover up everything. It's like, if it was fine, then why would you have to try to cover up everything? So I, I cussed everybody out. And I even cussed out the manager of the NICU and talked. And I had to talk to the director. That's how bad it got because nobody wanted to take responsibility. Everybody wanted to kind of cover things up and sugarcoat it and say that I just didn't like the nurse's personality. And I'm like, how is negligence a, per a part of somebody's personality? I'm not understanding. Like I said, please send me good vibes, y'all. I really hope things get better. But if they don't, at least y'all will know, you know what, what's happened. I'm just trying to think positive because I will, I will do and say whatever I can to protect my child. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support. I'm sure so does Yak. Yak, you good? Shit. Oh. So. We appreciate the love and support. Make sure you guys go check out the rest of our videos, our whole journey. And um, I, I feel like from this experience, though, maybe God gave me this experience to help other women, other mothers. So if there's any videos that you guys think that I can make that may be able to assist other mothers or help you with any questions, let me know. And remember... You a boss. Bye. Nothing left to say, cause you don't care to change. Now you'll be back. You took me from hell.